What's up, what it do, cyber world? It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It, ashsaidit.com, ashsaidit.com. This is the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys coming through. You know, we always have some empowerment, some good positive energy flowing through and coming through. Today, we have a treat. I have a young man that is chilling out with your girl today. You guys have seen him across social media. You've seen his videos all over YouTube. It's gone viral. He's been on Huffington Post. I mean, Fox News, CNBC, the list goes on and on and on. You guys welcome writer, speaker, media personality, James Michael Sama. <laughs> Hey, hey Ash. Wow, I don't think I could have written that introduction myself. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming through. I know that you've got a tight schedule and you're a little bit of everywhere. <laughs> so we really appreciate you coming through I do today. my best. I do my best to spread the wings, you know? Awesome, awesome. So, James, where are we speaking to you from today? So I am actually currently still in Boston for the next four days in which in uh on may 8th i'm actually moving to hollywood oh wow. so um so you still, still got me on the east coast but that's not gonna last too much longer oh well we'll, we'll still we'll still claim you we'll, we'll still hold on to you <laughs> oh yeah yeah I, i'll always be home here so definitely so james let everyone know where are you from what cities do you represent so I'm originally from right outside Boston, a small town called Arlington, um, that seems to be such a different world now from, from when I grew up there. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm originally from right outside the city. I've spent most of my life, you know, in and around Boston. I went to college in Boston. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really kind of just from from the area through and through. You know, I never have, never have left to go anywhere further than, you know, 30 or 40 minutes away um, <laughs> until, until next week, of course. But, uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm a Boston boy. At least in the suburbs, I know people that are really from the city. You know, if I if I say Boston, they're like, "Yeah, but you're from Arlington. It's not really Boston." But um, you know, for people list, listening across the country that aren't familiar with the smaller towns, I am uh, I am a Boston guy, despite the accent. You know, <laughs> absolutely. So, what were you interested in as a child? That's a good question, Ash. You know, I mean, I I really. I always kind of liked the entertainment industry. I liked the idea of being in movies, um, you know, and I also liked sort of anything creative, anything in terms of something that was a little bit flashier, a little bit showier. I really was drawn to certain types of, of lifestyles, and, um, you know, that kind of got me into I, – I did I did a little bit of acting um, a few years ago. A lot of people actually don't know that because I'm not – I don't really publicize it. But, um, you know, I always wanted to get into something in the entertainment industry. I just was never really sure how. Um, but I really was never drawn to the 9 to 5. I was never drawn to too much structure, um, for better or for worse. Right. You know, and I just I wanted to be creative and create something cool. Awesome, Sauce. So how did this this entity, this, this, this big conglomerate of, of what you do, how did that fall into place with your life? Well, that's, that's a good question, and I like the way you put fall into place, because that's really pretty much exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I in my early 20s, I was doing a lot of club promoting. I was out in Boston all the time. So essentially what I really wanted to do was build a pretty big network on social media so I could invite a lot of people to my parties. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that, that kind of got to the point where my Facebook friends list was, you know, at the, at the 5,000 friend limit. Um, you know, I wasn't really active on Twitter or anything else besides just Facebook. So I, I had these 5,000 friends on Facebook that, you know, I would try to be very inspirational and write all these quotes and everything and share this stuff. And eventually, you know, I really sort of saw people that were getting huge on YouTube or huge on different platforms. And I said to myself, you know, I need to reach more than 5,000 people. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, you know, it sounds like, a, right? It's like, it sounds like a lot of people are like, wow, 5,000 friends. But when you see people with, you know, hundreds of millions of YouTube views, Mm -hmm. it's a drop in the bucket, right? Yeah. (laughs) So, yeah, so essentially I had no idea what I was doing, Ash. I figured, you know, I'm going to start a blog so I can write things that are longer than, you know, a Facebook status and reach more people. So, you know, I I just hopped on to WordPress.com. I had no clue what I was doing. I bought my, my own name as a domain name, and I just started writing. And that was um, June of 2013. And, you know, I'd I'd write about a lot of kind of self-development. I was big into that at the time, a lot of motivation, inspirational stuff. 
And um, and through my own frustrations and to people talking to me about dating, I wrote some articles about dating too. Mm. And so this is June. So in November, I remember waking up literally one morning to go to work, and I was getting probably four or five thousand views per day on my blog, which I thought was astronomical. I was like, this yeah, is incredible. That is. Um, Right, yeah, I was like, that's amazing. So and I woke up one morning, it was, you know, 6 o'clock in the morning probably, and I looked at my, my, my phone, and I had about 2,000 views already on the blog. You know, I reset at midnight. I was like, wow, it's 6 a.m., I already have 2,000. I'll definitely be 5,000 today, right? Right. Long story short, that day went over 62,000 people in the, yeah. in the single day reading the blog. Now, over the course of that week, by Friday, this was a Tuesday, Friday, I had a million and a half people read the website. And I'm going, what is happening? I would refresh the page and I would get 30, 40, 50,000 new page views. And I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. And I had an article that I had written that went completely viral. And it got picked up all over the place. It got translated into different languages. I still don't know how it happened. And at that point, I just said, you know what? This is there's obviously something to this. People like it. My networks yeah. were growing, and I I didn't want to be a one hit wonder, you know. So I yeah. decided to run with it and see what happened. And um, four years later, here we are. <laughs> wow, that is incredible. <laughs> that is incredible. It was, it was just wild. Yeah, and it just. I'm sorry, was... that was kind of a long description of what happened, but no, that's, that's no, how it no. all unfolded. But yeah, you know, you gave us like the short abridged version. I'm sure there's way more to, you know, to every chapter of it. Way more, but, yeah. Way more, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that is still, that is an incredible accomplishment. I applaud you on that. Wow. Well, thank you. I mean, it, it's, you know, it really, it was really something that I had no idea was even a possibility, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, you know, now the, now the website is over 37 million pages wow. in those four years. Um, so, I mean, it just, it, it, thankfully... You know, it has it has kept going, and, and as you mentioned, I mean, I've done a lot of video stuff, and I'm really trying to to branch it out as far as and wide as possible. Definitely. Know? So, also in that, when did the YouTube video start? When when did you suggest, or when did you have the idea? Hey, I need to actually, you know, be putting out all the stuff that I'm putting out on the blog. I need to put this out on video so people can latch onto it. Yeah. So one of the biggest things that happened with that was that I mean, I've, I've always wanted to get into you know, speaking and television and hosting and all those different things. And, you know, the, the great thing about the blog, of course, is that it's, it's easily shareable. People can read it on their lunch break or even when they're at work or whatever. And it's, it's quick and easy content. Um, but, you know, when it comes to television or on camera work, for all anybody knows, I'm some bumbling idiot behind a computer screen who can't speak to save his life, right? No. I mean, nobody knows if I'm, if I'm a good speaker or not, if I'm just writing. So I really saw the value in in developing video content, probably even just over the past year or so. Um, and I, I fortunately have a friend who's based out of Boston who has a, a really large YouTube following. Um, his, his brand is called Sexy Confidence. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's got about 200,000 YouTube subscribers. And we decided to team up and, uh, and create video content together. So, you know, on top of my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter and everything, I was putting out videos on his page as well. And uh, it really just turned into this, this great kind of synergy of video and, and text content. Wow. So as time went on and on and you're starting to get more content for the videos and for the blogs, and I will say you, you do give both advice for both men and women, but it seems like maybe you're, mm-hmm. you're giving you're giving us women with no complaints. You're giving us a kind of a, a little extra into the, the male psyche, so to speak. Do you right. yeah. do you yeah. get negative feedback from your your male peers? You know that's a great question, um, and I and I have I have in the past I have in the past, and and part of the reason Ash why you know I mean, it's, it's sort of like that you know you're you're I don't know what the term is voting with your wallet or something right mm-hmm. it's like you choose where you spend your money on products and that kind of shows people what you value, mm-hmm. and it, it, the same thing sort of happened to me because I started out writing for men. Right. And I figured, well, I'm a guy. I'm going to write about, right, like being a better man, and this is going to be content focused towards guys. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I say this is that the, the negative feedback from the men kind of came in the form of them just not reading the stuff. Mm. And I, I, I quickly learned that it was all women that were commenting and reading and sharing. And 
to, you know, even now, my audience has ranged between 75% and 90% female. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the men, they don't want to hear, they typically don't want to hear dating advice. They don't want to hear it from another guy because they don't want to admit that they have things to learn, right? Guys yeah. want to think they know everything already. <laughs> And um, especially when it comes to, to being competent with women, right? That's right. like the ultimate ego boast to have a guy telling you how to be better with women. That's yeah. like, so, um, so it really, you know, it really just evolved into, into, into focusing the content more towards women because that's who was paying attention. Okay. That's smart. I can feel that. I can definitely see that yeah. happening. <laughs> so uh-huh. Uh-huh. with yep. you being a public figure now, you know, you're a public figure, uh-huh. you're, you're, you're a face, you're a brand itself. Are you able to, um, what, what is your biggest challenge, I would say, as a public figure? What is the biggest thing that you've had to face as far as maybe even how much information you disclose about your, your life, your personal dealings? Well, that's, you know, and I think this is really the first time I've been asked this question. So I, I appreciate you asking it. And this might sound kind of funny and ironic, um, but, the you know, the biggest challenge that I face if I had to choose one is dating mm. of all things right i mean it's, it's the thing that i talk about the most it's the thing that i do for a living <laughs> but but there are so many preconceived notions or mm. kind of you know nervousness around the topic like when i actually try to put all that aside and just date as a normal human being yeah it's it's a challenge you know mm. it's a challenge because women are like well are you going to write about my day this date in an article <laughs> or am i breaking your rules you know and I'm like, can we just be normal and just go on a date yeah. and like, just just you know, live as two people? So that that really has become a, kind of an unforeseen challenge. Wow, coming from the dating guru, mm-hmm. wow, wow. Well, well, I, you know, that's, and, but that's it's the pressure that gets put on it, right? Because, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, like, because yeah, and, and you know, yeah, and um, and some people, and, and the thing too is actually, that a lot of people don't really enjoy, um you know, whether it's a lot of attention or they're very private. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, it takes a certain type of, a certain type of woman to be okay with, yeah. with dating somebody who kind of has a bit of a public presence, you know, and yeah. being secure in that and take a certain level of confidence. Yeah, I definitely, I, I can see that now. I definitely can foresee that. That's definitely, I don't know. I guess I didn't know what answer you were going to give, but I definitely didn't think that. I thought maybe. I. It. <laughs> But that's definitely original and definitely um, just heartfelt because I know that people are listening and they're like, you know, they're checking out your videos, they're checking out the website and everything. And that definitely would not have been on my list. Wow. You learned something new. <laughs> See that? I mean, it's, and it's, you know, and it's, I want everybody, to, I mean, I, I am 100% the person that you see. I mean, the things that yeah. I, you know, even, I mean, even now I'm answering these questions obviously off the cuff. I don't know what you're going to ask. You know, when I do Facebook Live videos, I mean, everything that I say just, just comes from the heart, you know. I mean, it's like what you see is what you get. Yeah. Um. So you know, I want everybody to know that I'm just just a just a just a regular person who's getting my my opinions out there, you know. And we all face our own challenges in our own ways. That's, Absolutely. Uh, nobody's superhuman, you know. Unfortunately. Yeah, definitely, and that's what this whole show is about. Is like I want to get to the meat and potatoes of, of people and what makes them unique. You know, I know you talk about relationship stuff all day, every day, but who is the man behind the advice? <laughs> You know, right, 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 right. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, really jumping into that. So what's up? What's up with you next, James? I know, like you said, you're, you're moving West Coast really soon. Do we have any conferences coming up? Where can people check you out? So, I mean, yeah, I'm going to my, you know, my primary focus right now, Ash, is to do as much television as possible. I want mm-hmm. to do I have an event um, actually on Saturday, which if, if people are listening to this over the next day or two, this is May 6th, the event is going to be. So they, they may miss it depending on when they listen. But in Providence, Rhode Island, um, I'm speaking at a Mother's Day charity, like shopping event that, um, that's going to be fantastic. We're going to be talking about, you know, family upbringing and how important it is to develop kind of your, your view of healthy relationships through childhood, things like that. Um, so that's, that's the next event that I'm doing in Providence, Rhode Island. And then, uh, you know, the, the whole Hollywood move is going to be, full steam ahead looking to do to do tv appearances talk shows potentially hopefully hosting my own tv show yes, um that's really the reason for the move to the west coast absolutely i see that for you I, 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 it's happening we're already putting that into the stars for you it's coming full circle thank you i, I, I need all the help i can get i love that <laughs> it's definitely coming so with all your accomplishments all your features everything that you're doing everything that you're involved in 
what advice would you have for any up and coming person that looks to you and says, hey, I want to do what James is doing, or I want to do something along those lines? What advice would you offer to them today? So great question. And I think the biggest thing that has set me apart and has really made this content become the, the kind of self, uh, self-running self entity that it has is that it's it's genuine. It's heartfelt. Mm. I think that people, we're, so, we're drowning in so much just constant information or like, you know, uh, like, you know, oh, send these five texts to the guy to get him to fall in love with you or some <laughs> random, you know, surface level advice mm-hmm. that we're losing sight of, of like, like, you know, the, the, the whole purpose of this interview too, right? Who, who is the person behind all of it? Right. Right. We're not doing it at the human level anymore. Yeah. And I think anybody that needs to, that wants to get out there and, and write on any topic, it doesn't matter what the topic is, have to remember that 100% of the people that are going to read it or watch it or absorb it are human beings. Yeah. And it is right. It's all about kind of being heartfelt, being really connecting on, with people on a deeper level. And I think no matter what you're pursuing, keeping that in mind is going to set you apart and it's going to really make it so that people can connect with your content. And I think that's really the number one thing to always remember is, is this going to resonate with people? Are people going to want to share this with their friends? Because A, they say, wow, this person is saying what I've been thinking, but I haven't been able to figure it out. So I'm going to share it so other people can read it. Or they want to feel like people are actually speaking on their behalf and saying, see, this is what I've been saying. This is how I feel. And then they're going to want to share. So if you can accomplish those goals, you'll be successful in terms of any sort of content. Awesome sauce. Awesome. James, let everybody know how they can get in contact with you and how they can keep up with you. Great. So everything I have is at James M. Sama. So M is in Michael and S-A-M-A is the last name. I'm sure it'll be in a, in a link somewhere. Um, and it's, it's jamesmsama.com. My Instagram, Facebook, Twitter is all at James M. Sama. So um, anything that anybody wants to find, you can you can find me there. And I'm, I'm connected to that stuff 24-7, as you can imagine. <laughs> Absolutely, James. I appreciate you coming through to the show today, and I, uh, I see much more success for you. You know, I'm cheering you on. You know, I'm on the sidelines for you, James. <laughs> yeah, I need all the cheerleaders I can get, Ashley. That is Absolutely. perfect. I appreciate that very much. Absolutely coming through. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that's listening to the show, all my downloaders. I see that you guys have been downloading me in Lithuania. So, I really appreciate that. Thank you so very much. Always remember, no matter what, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face and tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. All right, because that's what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history books. Social media is nice. It's useful. It's helpful. It keeps us on track. But real life is so much better. All right, I'll talk to you guys next time. Deuces.